In South America, health authorities are racing to contain an epidemic. Until a year ago, the Zika virus was unknown in this region. Now it's spread to 21 countries and one and a half million people have been infected. It's spread by mosquitoes and, until this outbreak, was very rare across the world. As cases shoot up, the greatest concern is now about Zika's effects on babies still in the womb. In El Salvador, one of the countries most affected by Zika, health workers are going door to door in a desperate bid to contain the virus. Doctors have even warned women there against falling pregnant until at least 2018. The problem, of course, is when a, a, a pregnant woman gets infected with Zika. Zika can go to the baby, and if it goes to the baby, it, can, it uh, goes to the brain and destroys some brain structures. So then from then on, the brain doesn't de develop completely. The Zika virus, which is related to the yellow fever and dengue viruses, is spread by mosquitoes and usually associated with mild symptoms like fever and joint pain. But now it's also thought to be linked to cases of brain damage in babies. Researchers in Brazil believe Zika might cause microcephaly, a neurological disorder leading to newborns having smaller than normal heads and brains. In 2014, Brazil had less than 150 cases of microcephaly. By 2015, as Zika spread, there were more than 2,700 cases. No one knows why this virus is spreading so fast right now. This is an emerging situation. It's an emerging virus and things are definitely going to change. Um, there are some things I think that we can anticipate based on our experience with other kinds of similar mosquito-borne viruses. That is that the number of countries that are affected is going to grow, that the number of returning travelers who have Zika is going to grow, um, and that um, this is going to be a, an emerging problem that we're going to be uh, dealing with for some time in the future. Because it's been in the shadows for so long, scientists know very little about how Zika works and what might stop it. The race to find treatments is only just gearing up. For now, the only way to keep pregnant women and their babies safe is awareness and prevention.